Uh, I'm an abolitionist exhorting Christians to love their pre-born neighbor as themselves. Okay, use that for your your, your pamphlets and all. Okay, thank you. Hey, are you? Go get some ice for church. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Um, did does anyone does anyone here? Did they go out to the uh, the, the murder mill, the lo local abortion facility? You know, to rescue children from death. Uh, they should. I don't know. You're right. They should. They damn well should. What about what about you? H have you been out there? I have not. Have you have you thought about going out there? Pardon? Have you thought about going out there? I have not. Oh, well, maybe. I have a daughter who's all for abortion. And she drives me nuts. She's all for it. Believes in abortion. And she drives me nuts. Uh, I don't believe in abortion at all. Well, that's good because Christians don't believe in murdering babies, and you, you, right. and you can be a further example to her by going out to the Planned Parenthood. And there's other places in Denver where they murder babies. Of course, there are. It's all kinds of places. And I mean, I was out, I was out at Planned Parenthood yesterday, and the sidewalk was virtually empty. There were there was a, a group of Catholics across my, the street. My sister in Detroit goes to uh, uh, protests on Planned Parenthood every about every day. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in a in a in an involvement in which it's all over the map. You know, I do not understand how people can say that uh, life is an important blessing. Well, I'm one, thousand percent. well one, one reason they can say that is because Christians, for the most part, at least professing Christians, are silent in the midst of this Holocaust. And I, well, a lot of them I mean, I see it not only out at the uh, murder mills, the abortion facilities, but I go out into the public and I talk to people, and, and a lot of people don't even know this is going on. They, well, I do. I fully know what's going on, and I, I agree with you, there's probably much more I can do too. I am a voice, but I'm, I, I've got a number of other things that I'm trying to voice too, but it's all important. Do you, do you know anyone else who would benefit from this? Because this is asking the... I'll pass them on. Here's a, here's a few for you. Okay. And because most churches, there may be a few people, there may be someone or a couple people who are involved, but churches are full of people who are doing nothing, including the pastors. About the slaughter of the preborn. This church is con is conflicted by it. Oh, what do you mean conflicted? Really? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of us that do not believe in abortions, but there's other people that, well, you know, whatever. And uh, so this church is open to all, okay. close to none. So it's liberal in many ways, and okay. which is fine. I like the place for that aspect of it. But that doesn't mean I accept everything it runs with. Hey, you know what that means? It means that there are people here who aren't even saved. Because you can't, because well, you know that you can't I'm not be. Certain I'm saved. I grew oh, really? up Catholic. I'm not certain I'm saved. Really? But it doesn't matter. I'm trying to live a good life. Well, it does matter because it, because you can't be certain. But you can't be certain that you're going to heaven when you die. Just trust in Jesus Christ. His I blood, his blood can wash away your sins. You know, I still have my doubts. We all have doubts. So, anyways, I got to get some ice for a funeral coming up. Okay.